So the good news in this deal is that we've managed to do what both the UK and the EU have wanted to do from the beginning, and that is avoid a hard Irish border. There will be no checks and controls on goods crossing the land border on the island of Ireland. The flip side of that, of course, is that the Irish border now moves in effect into the Irish Sea. Um, this means that there will be checks and controls on some goods crossing from Great Britain into Northern Ireland. They've done something clever with this in that the Northern Ireland does remain part of the UK's customs territory, so it will benefit from the free trade agreements that the UK will make after Brexit. Um, there are concerns about this in terms of the economic status of Northern Ireland and the constitutional status of Northern Ireland within the UK, and this is why the DUP have expressed um, their opposition to the deal so far. And hence we come to the third point, which is consent. Northern Ireland Assembly will get a chance to vote on these arrangements. Uh, four years after the end of the transition period, there will be a vote in the Northern Ireland Assembly as to whether they wish to remain de facto part of the EU Single Market and Customs Union, or whether they wish to align instead with the United Kingdom.